Hey guys, Kim here with Cable Crusher TV. Today we're going to show you how to search for your favorite movies. As you can see, we are on the home screen already. So we are going to take you into the Kodi app and show you how this works. All right, now we are in the Kodi app and we are on the videos category. As you can see, we have some apps already loaded at the bottom. We have Genesis, Go Movies, Zeus Video, and Phoenix. Those are your movie apps. So we're going to take you into Genesis and show you how to search for your favorite movies. All right. So as you can see, you have different categories within the Genesis app to search for what you'd like to watch. Um, we're going to go right into movies. And as you can see, there's many different categories you can search for movies by. Uh, genre, year, people, uh, featured, people watch, people watching, most popular, uh, most voted, box office. You can even search uh, for a movie, you know, just type in the name and uh, have it search the database. So we're going to take you into some of the most popular categories that we use personally. Um, and the first one we're going to take a look at is featured. So we're going into featured movies, and this category pretty much has all of the newer movies that are pretty much in pretty good quality. You're seeing movies here that are either in standard quality or higher. Um, most movies in this category are usually already in HD. Um, and as you can see, we have a lot of new movies, Jurassic World, Pixels, Mad Max, um, Inside Out, San Andreas. Uh, Southpaw, you know, let's go into one of these movies. How about we try uh, San Andreas? So as you click on the movie you are interested in watching, uh, Genesis is actually uh, searching for all of the streams available for this movie. As you can see at the very bottom, it says 337 items. That means there are 337 streams you can go through in order to find, um, you know, a good quality stream to watch. Um, the first one through about 20 links is probably going to be your best bet um, in terms of quality. At the top, we have a 1080p option, which means uh, it's pretty much the best quality. So let's go ahead and click on that. All right, and there you have it. Uh, side note, um, you know, if you find that the stream is not playing for you, meaning it's, you know, you're getting hangups, um, it's it's buffering or loading too long, you probably want to change stream. Um, you have so many options here, and it's all based on your internet speed. So, you know, sometimes we, we find personally when we're watching that maybe 1080p quality, um, it doesn't play very well for us. So we'll go down to HD or HQ quality, which is still very good picture. It's a great quality. Um, and that will, that will play perfectly for our internet speed. And again, that varies depending on your, you know, internet provider and the area that you live in. So. Okay, so now we're back um, on the movie category screen. And we're going to take you into in theaters and show you how this works. So as you can guess, in theater are movies that are currently in theaters. <laughs> so um, as you can see, we have The Martian, Maze Runner, Hotel Transylvania. Um, the quality for these movies may not be that great. You might have cam quality, uh, standard quality, but occasionally you will be able to access a movie that is still in theaters um, in really good quality. So um, we actually just check some of these out. Um, all right, so for example, the movie The Visit, that's still in theaters. All right, so now we have 411 streams for the movie The Visit. And we're just going to start at the very top where it says HD quality.
check out how clear that is for a movie that's still in theaters. All right, so here it is. As you can see, there are uh, Chinese subtitles at the bottom, but the movie is clear as day. Um, and that's what you'll get. I mean, you're watching online streams, so sometimes you may get streams that have subtitles um, since, you know, they're still in theaters and they're, you know, newer movies. So we're back on the movie category screen. You can also search your favorite movies by people. And by using this category, you can basically search um, by your favorite actor's or actress's name and pull up all of the movies they are in. So as you can see, for example, we have a, a number of celebrities here that you can recognize. If you select one of the celebrities' names, um, you can actually pull up all the movies that they're in and, you know, pick and choose a movie that way. So, for example, Robert Downey Jr. He's a very popular actor. So, as you can see, The Avengers, The Judge, um, Iron Man. You have all these different uh, movies that he stars in. You can also search by most popular. So, most popular movies, uh, or this category, has all of the most popular movies that people are watching. And as you can see, most of them are the newer movies that have just either recently been in theaters um, or are still in theaters. All right. So that was Genesis. Um, that's how to use Genesis to search for movies. Um, some of the other apps like Go Movies, Zeus Video, and Phoenix, they also have movies you can search for. Um, they work very similarly to the Genesis app. Um, let's go into Go Movies really quick. And as you can see, Go Movies has their categories on how to search movies, box office, views, popular Oscars, trending, um, years, genre. So you can also search uh, if you click on the search button at the bottom, type in the movie you're, you're looking for and be able to pull it up that way. Um, now, Genesis is the, probably the most popular um, app to use to, you know, search for, for your favorite movies. Um, being that the library in Genesis is so much larger than the rest of the apps listed below, these are just alternatives just in case you can't find something or, you know, you, the streams aren't working um, for whatever reason. You can also go into these other apps to look for those movies. All right, so that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks for tuning in to today's Cable Crusher episode. Uh, we will see you in the next one.